sometimes like poo poo feeling will hit you hard, like super hard. Pee pee is a gradual build, and but but then sometimes it'll go away. And then yeah. hours later, like yeah, you know, yeah. like eight hours later, then you poop. So that, that can't happen with peepee. Like, well, they you, knocked on the door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then your muscles were yeah. ready to go, and then you, and then you, you, you needed held that it energy back. someplace else, and it's like, all right, all right, get shit, get out of here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Go back into the colon. Like in in any other form, like if you like your body's telling you something, you you, you think, but like you could li- literally push it back eight hours. But not seven. always. No, you only do that maybe twice. Yeah, yeah. All Third right. time it comes at you. So then you get a plank. So you, <laughs> yeah, you you know it's coming. Yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm driving, and I get to the point where I can actually see the, the building. I can see the sign for our building, and it hits me real hard. So I, I go to, like, release some gas and start it. That just opened up the, the, the fucking anus chamber and just <laughs> shit pants, like full-blown shit my pants. In my uniform, in the company car. <laughs> all right. And it's seeping through my pants. It's getting all over the fucking car. Well, it's, it's never like a formed, healthy <laughs> bowel no. movement. No. If that were the case, you would you gently, you'd be like, well, I'm going to let it go. I'm going to give myself a little room. Yep. You'd let it out. You'd stop the side of the road, shake a turd out of your pants leg, and go about your day. It's never like that. No, not with that emergency. Yeah. Now, what, so, what, you, what are you feeling? Like, what? You're obviously in emergency mode. You're like, uh-oh, I pooped my, my uniform in the company and did car. You, and you were delivering parts, you said? Oh, yeah. yeah. I was did you have anything? Parts. Did you have anything you could use? Like a carburetor? No. Yeah. Did you have like a... <laughs> Distributor cap? Yeah, like an aftermarket tailpipe? <laughs> you could... No, man. I had like some of them old like uh, blue or like blue uh, oil spill towels that you could use to wipe stuff up. Oh, those uh, are great right. towels. I'm a big yeah, fan of so the shop towel. I was in Longwood, too, so there's like almost no normal stores around where I am because it's all like mom and pop scam dealerships everywhere. Mm -hmm. So I pull in the parking lot and I'm like, well, I'm going to have to get out of the car and go assess the damage. So as soon as I get out, poo-poo sprinkles are falling out of my pants. (laughs) So I literally... Yeah. I trail it. Like a gunshot. A little bit of blood drip. from, From the car... All the way through the store, and there's people, and all all my coworkers are in there. All the way through the store, shit sprinkled on the store floor, oh. all the way to the bathroom. Oh my Fire god! Hazard. <laughs> my and god. and get into the bathroom, strip all my clothes off. I threw like at that point, I'm like, I was DefCon five. Like I was like, you know what? Shoes are going in the trash. Stop. Well, you gotta call your all wife or somebody and be like, "Look, <laughs> yeah. bring me a bath well, towel." Yeah, but that you know how long and, that uh, takes. Bring me a bath towel exactly. and a gorilla mask so but, I can get, get well, out of here. That's where the story gets worse, is because I was like, yeah, I'm going to throw it all away, threw it all in the trash can, got the trash out, so I'm like, whenever my clothes decide to come, you know, I'll take the trash out. You have to come out dressed in a black trash bag, California (laughs) raisin (laughs) style. (laughs) Hold on, so what what do you do? So you threw your shoes in the trash? Oh, yeah, dude. They were, were (laughs) I had shit shoes on. Yeah, yeah, once you you shit your shoes, you're still going back. So, was this a public bathroom, or was it like a one-stop? It was the employee bathroom, I believe. This was a, this was a, uh, an an auto parts store bathroom, but it was a, it was a single staller, thank goodness, but it was the only one in the building. We only had one bathroom. So, if a customer had to go, to the zone, co-workers, (laughs) at that point, I was like, you know what, like, I'm not going back to work today, so I had to call my boss. And be like, dude, I shit my pants, and there's no coming back from this now. <laughs> like, I have to, I have to call somebody. So I call my wife. Bad at life moment. Me and my wife were poor old, so we only had one car, and she worked at a bank all the way in downtown Orlando, and I'm in Longwood. So my wife's like, sorry, I have meetings all day. I can't. I can't come help you. Well, that's when you turn the lights off in the back bathroom and you just you lay there and hope they don't axe the door down. <laughs> <laughs> and, you, and you don't, you, just don't, you don't come out until she can get to you. So do you, do you yell at your wife? You're like, I don't care about your goddamn <laughs> yeah. meetings. I'm stuck in the in the, in the auto zone bathroom. <laughs> could you yeah. Uber like a ride? Like, if you shit your pants, could you, could you Uber home and just on, tell the Uber driver, put a trash bag in? Could you tell, could you get an Uber driver to stop by, like, uh, Old Navy and yeah. pick you up some sensible They do stop at, like, fast food sometimes. Yeah. yeah. But, That's true, yeah. Well, you stop I, by, I need uh, a, I need a pair of a 36, 32s <laughs> khakis. <laughs> uh, I did, like, probably the worst, most four-year-old moment of my life. I called my mother. 
It was no. like, because my wife was like, there's no way, man. There's no way I can come get you. Like, I'll get fired from my job. So I call my mom, and I'm like, Mom, I'm, like, I, I'm a 23-year-old man, and I shit my pants at work, and I need some clothes and a ride home. Oh, baby. It, and she lives, she didn't live too far from my store, so she, of course, laughs her ass, ass off. I'll bring and you one so of your father's you, bell-bottom now, suits. Hold yeah. on. Now, all this time, like, you're in the bathroom. Are, no, okay, here, are your employees here. saying, like, uh, hello? Um, you okay what are you doing, there? John? Yeah, John, are you all right? Like, are you are you telling them anything? Dude, you all right in there? <laughs> yeah, so, so my manager... I had a, I had a, like a store manager and then the the commercial manager who sold all the parts. They were they walked up a couple times. And were like, hey man, you good? Like, you know, of course, cracking jokes. Like, you dying in there? And then <laughs> to the point, I didn't know the extent of the damage I had done through the store in the parking lot. So my mom shows up and my and I was a big guy. I was like three hundred forty pounds at that time. Oh, so I was a big this makes old, it worse. Yeah. <laughs> 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 a lot of ammo in the gun. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> now, this- big old. So it was not good. So I, you know, my dad's clothes weren't going to fit. My my mom's clothes weren't going to fit. But my mom decides to bring me a pair of her sweatpants. <laughs> and her I like that she didn't even go buy him uh, new pants. I hope they said. No. Uh, I hope they said juicy on the ass. <laughs> <laughs> pink. So your mom brings you a You're pair wearing of your mom's sweatpants. Victoria's Secret pink sweatpants. <laughs> <laughs> and a pair of her flip flops. Oh, oh my god. god, that's like prison. <laughs> yeah, it's like size twelve feet, and my mom's like a size like six. So Ooh. Like, Here. Here's the thing: so she comes into the store, and all the employees. I got him yep. sweatpants. Yep. I have a blouse, <laughs> a pair of my s- sandals, and I have yes. a straw hat with a f- uh, macrame flower on. So, she, th- so everybody in the store knows like what's going on. Like, uh, oh yeah. And do they oh, know your mom, or they're like, okay, hey, man, Miss Rodriguez, you know, so, whatever, you know? No, they did not know my mom. So everybody met my mom at that point and they're you know of course like my mom is this is like i think shit's funny all the time so she's like of course like saying hello to all the employees and you know nothing embarrasses her so it's not a big deal so well, she she's a mom my clothes. yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. She, she's she's and not I, being know. discreet about it she's like hey because okay. it's normal <laughs> i'm bringing john his clothes his poopoo pants <laughs> <laughs> so she hands me the clothes you know i open the door a little bit she hands me the clothes i put on you know the in tight sweatpants <laughs> That are like three, three oh, or four. Oh man, I want a picture of it. You need to go get a mop and clean up the little drips near the deer scaring <laughs> whistles that go. <laughs> you shit near the Rainex wipers. And <laughs> so I put that on. I put the skin tight shirt on. You know, my my man boobs are like bursting through. Oh, so oh, at this man. point, I put the sandals on and I walk out, and there. In the store is one of the employees, like the low man on the totem pole there, has fucking booties on his shoes, and he is mopping up shit. Oh, oh, shit oh, oh, oh my god. I hightail out of there, like, while everybody's laughing. The guy who's cleaning up is not laughing at all. It's not of course funny. not. He's scrubbing your shit. <laughs> he's mopping your goddamn shit. This guy's out. Uh, he's like, I didn't sign up for this. I took two days off of work. And, two days off of work for shitting your pants? It's embarrassing. Yeah, he's like, Jesus I'm, Christ, man. He's hoping like, that it blows over. Oh, my God. Yeah, exactly. Fucking millennials in your work ethic. My <laughs> God. In my dad's day, my dad would literally shit in his hand and continue to type on the computer. <laughs> I didn't want to, like, it was one of those things I wanted to blow over a little bit. I didn't just roll up in. I roll, I go there. My store manager pulls me to the side. He's like, man, I got to write you up for a, uh, like a hazard infraction. You know, you shit all over the store. But, but it was, <laughs> it's awesome. not like you meant to <laughs> yeah, do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's I an mean, accident. It's a fucking accident. Yeah, that's you, that's yeah, where yeah, corporations yeah. get it wrong. You were actually having a moment. A health problem. Yeah, I mean, yep. like, if anything, they should come to your aid. He just give me a formal warning. And then I had to go. Hey, you know, no more accidental diarrhea. Real. <laughs> yeah, we're fucking out of here. <laughs> yeah. they, they, we had three company cars. They only used two of them for the two days I was gone. They left my car that I used there. They were like, nobody go in the car. You know, it's not a murder scene. I mean, car. Jesus Christ. Yeah, yeah, but he pooped all well, over dude, the seat. Well, yeah. just, uh, was, when I opened the, the car door to take it, because they were like, you're taking it to go get shampoo. They gave me the company car. They're like, go take a shit to get shampoo down by the dealership. And dude, it smelled like death. Inside. And you earned a nickname there, right? I did, yeah. I earned a, um, I was Mr. Poo Poo Pants for the <laughs> remainder it's not even of... A, it's, it's just a, it's mean. And they called the card the shitmobile. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they did call the card. 